you feel shitty because you're not operating at 100%. After this video, that's going to be null and void, though, because you'll have no excuses. You'll know what to do. For starters, 18 to 25, your stress levels are naturally just not high enough because you're not engrossed with enough adult things yet. Most people are still living with their parents in school, so you don't have that much agency. In a nutshell, you're too casual. You don't have enough stresses in your life that force you to level up. So you move aloof and you don't feel that driven to operate at 100% every day because it's not as if, if you aren't, that things around you will start to fall apart. When you aren't expecting much from yourself, it makes it easy to not do everything that you need to, to get to that next level, whatever that is for you, whatever you consider that to be for yourself. Does that make sense? How you break this cycle, in my experience, it's gonna take a solid 12 months of training. And by training, I mean educating yourself, like I said in the older videos about your industry, go find, or if you're not gonna go to college or anything, find a trade, become skilled, get in the gym, train your vocabulary, train your ability to speak in public and leadership skills. Naturally, once you get these things ingrained into your character, you're going to seek out situations that are gonna force you to use them. You have to find bigger responsibilities. It rings true that you'll only become a master sailor in high tide. There is nobody who ever set sail who became a master of that craft sailing close to the beach. You have to go out to the high seas. And in adult life, that looks like you moving away from your hometown, you changing your friend group, you finding different people to build your network with. And even if it's not that you at least find new people to introduce to your current network. Real life adult situations will force you to level up. When you have to figure out how to pay bills, when you have to figure out how to finance homes, cars, businesses, real life situations will force you to level up. And most times it's going to be up here. I, I, I say it a lot on my channel. A lot of this stuff is mental. Whenever you get out in real life, it's going to be about you really using your brain to maneuver your way in and out of the different situations that you're going to find yourself in. Uh, the older you get, the easier it gets. But when you start out, like you can't shy away from it. You just have to go head first. And in your 20s, you're going to fuck up. That's what they're for. Realistically, you're not going to be able to make decisions with 100% certainty until around 30, 35. And this is what my pops told me. In your 20s, you have time to fuck up. That's what they're for. And I spoke in another video. When you're in your 20s, people are a lot more keen to help you because they've been there, they've done that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's a lot easier to get assistance with the situation that you're going to find yourself in in your 20s. Because once you're 30, you should have a lot of this shit figured out. Does that make sense? What's going to determine whether or not you're getting to where you want to be at and the time frames that you want to get to them is going to be about how, like, how vehemently you're researching ways to add to your resource list. Does that make sense? Like, that means new streams of income. That means new people in your network to help you out with shit. That means new education new certifications. Eventually, you'll get used to the weight of the world that you're carrying in your early 20s, mid 20s, on in your 30s. Um, and a lot of it, I'm not going to lie, it's going to be financial stress. In your 20s, it's hard to get out of that broke college kid into financially stable, being able to pay rent on your own. You know what I'm saying? You're off your mom's titty out of your parents' pockets and shit like that. Um, but yes, once you start to figure it out, you'll be able to maneuver things a little bit more comfortably and you'll be able to find new situations to get into to leverage the assets that you're accumulating more efficiently. 
from here, it's going to be about you figuring out what you want to create. And I spoke on it in another video. You're not supposed to just be amassing money so you can buy a dream car. You're supposed to be amassing money and assets and resources and building a network to secure a future for your family if you want to build a family. Uh, and if not, even if you just want to live the bachelor life forever, being able to secure that kind of future for yourself. The last bit of advice I can give you with all this, keep your foot on the gas. There is no time to relax. Once you get out here in the real world, it is balls to the wall. Um, the reason I haven't been uploading because I've been working a lot more. Uh, I'm back in school. I'm still learning. Uh, I'm going to be a forever student. I'm always going to be learning. And... Yeah, man, it's going to, like, you're going to have to put the hours in and that's just what it's going to be. You have to get comfortable with the fact that you're going to work until you die. If you really want to get to that upper echelon, like don't believe the hype with a lot of the, this new age, you know what I'm saying? Entrepreneur shit. Uh, there's going to be work. Like you're going to have to work. Um, there's going to be ways for you to delegate certain tasks, but you're going to have to coordinate the different assets, the different resources that you are going to be accumulating for yourself. And that's everything. This is all just some more cold game, some free game that you're gonna be needing on your self-improvement journey. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, remember, on your self-improvement journey, keep your chin up, your chest out, and always keep it pushing.